Hello, this is Nils. In this video, I'll be talking about a key supplement in my current longevity and muscle building protocols, which is creatine. Nothing in this video is intended as or should be taken as medical advice. I found myself drifting into sarcopenia two years ago, so I set out to see if I could build some muscle. Fortunately, I was able to. Taking supplements, including creatine, was part of what made this possible. Now, to be clear, I was taking a bunch of different supplements during this time. I also made some major changes in my diet and in my exercise regimen. I just wanted to focus on creatine as one element of that in this video. As we age, we lose strength and muscle mass. According to one of the studies that I'll link to below this video, creatine shows evidence of increasing strength and lean muscle mass and helping the muscles recover more quickly after workouts. Athletes use it for improving exercise performance and for alleviating muscle cramps and fatigue. It's been shown in both human and animal studies to improve glucose tolerance and inhibit cognitive decline. In terms of the aging process, one mouse study found that creatine lowered the accumulation of a pigment called lipofusin in the brains of aging mice. Lipofusin is considered to be a primary marker of aging. The mice with lowered lipofusin perform significantly better neurologically after supplementation, and they also lived 9% longer than the control animals, the equivalent to more than a seven-year increase in lifespan in a human. Now, just to be clear, creatine has not been found to extend lifespan in human beings. But then again, neither has anything else ever because there's no way to test life extension directly in humans because it would take longer than a human lifespan to verify that people are living longer when they take a certain compound or supplement. Creatine is a natural part of the human diet and has been for millennia. People who eat meat get a lot of creatine in their diets, but there's still some evidence that they may benefit from taking creatine supplements. According to a study called Benefits of Creatine Supplementation for Vegetarians Compared to Omnivorous Athletes, Vegans and vegetarians are not getting any creatine in their diets, so can definitely benefit from supplementation. Now, we can make creatine from other amino acids, but they need to be present in an exact balance for that to happen. Now, some life extension purists have expressed a concern that creatine may be activating mTOR. But according to a study called Creatine Supplementation, increases glucose oxidation and AMPK phosphorylation. This is a misguided concern as it actually works by activating the AMPK pathway. As with any supplement, you should of course read up on the benefits and possible side effects before taking it. There are certain groups of people like pregnant women who might have particular concerns. I'm not recommending that people take creatine. I'm just explaining why I find it very interesting and I consider it a key component in my own anti-aging arsenal. I have been able to gain some muscle myself in the last two years and creatine is part of the reason. These videos are sponsored by Do Not Age. They do not sell creatine at the moment but they do sell several other compounds that I find helpful. I would particularly recommend that people check out their CERT6 activator. For a 10% discount on the products on their website, use the discount code PATHWAYS, being sure to type it in all caps. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.